Hi Polyphonic.org, Dan at UD again. This week we're going to talk about something that's super, super serious. The most important thing that I talk about all year long. Keeping yourself healthy, and that means avoiding performance related injuries. They're a really big deal in our industry. I've studied with five teachers long term, and of those five, three of them suffered career threatening performance related injuries. They almost had to put their instruments down forever because of these injuries. Um, lots of times at a professional concert, you're walking around backstage and people are comparing, you know, the carpal tunnel scars or the, the things that they had to do to deal with their arthritis and whatnot. It can start to look kind of like a mesh unit backstage. Um, and it's a really sobering thing to be faced with that reality. Um, as musicians, we're actually very, very similar to athletes. We practice for hours and hours on end. We do the same thing over and over and over again, whether it's swinging to hit a baseball or shooting a jump shot or moving your bow around or holding the trumpet up and down, whatever. We do the same things over and over and over again. And especially for string players, we have these unnatural weird positions that we contort ourselves into to play our, play our instruments. Um, and it's really important to uh, be aware of how your body's working and how much it's working. We don't think about how much it's working because unlike professional uh, athletes, professional athletes are generally done by the time they hit age 40 unless they play golf or something else like that. Um, that's an unrealistically short career arc for a musician. Lots of musicians need to keep working into their 60s, 70s, even 80s, and lots of musicians just choose to. I mean, who wants to put their instrument down and then live for another 15, 20 years without playing their instrument again? Nobody wants to do that. Uh, when you're young and when you're going through high school, prepping for college and all that jazz, there's a really popular mindset that is just like, all I want to do is play my instrument. Well, if all you do is play your instrument, that's a ton of time spent playing the instrument. That's a lot of mile that you're racking up on your body. So, it's really important to be proactive with the things that you're doing to make sure that you're taking care of your body. And there are a couple of really simple things that you can do. First thing is just to stretch. Do some simple stretches before you uh, play. You know, work out the arms, get the whole body involved. Just because, you know, if you're, if you're a brass player and you're just holding your instrument up and using your diaphragm, that doesn't mean that you're not using your legs. You need to be fully in tune with your entire body. Um, yoga and Pilates also work really well for keeping yourself physically healthy. My personal preference is to use a rowing machine. I try to use a rowing machine at least once uh, a week or so, or once every other week, just because that's the kind of exercise that really engages the entire body all in, in one fell swoop. Um, there's another thing though, another really, uh, it, it, isn't, it isn't really as well known as I'd like for it to be. There's a technique that's called the Alexander Technique. It's a teaching method that was actually developed by a non-musician designed to put you in tune with your body. And this is for those of you who just, hear, who just heard me say a couple minutes ago, oh, well, we need to stay physically in shape and what, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. Well, good news, you don't have to. Uh, just get yourself in touch with an Alexander Technique teacher and everything will be good. Alexander Technique is <clears throat> a method for getting in touch with your body and building incredible, incredible self-awareness. It did a great deal of help for me and it's done wonders for hundreds if not thousands of players all across the planet. Uh, so it's just a really, re really great thing. So talk to your teacher about getting in touch with an Alexander Technique specialist. You can also Google Alexander Technique Association of the, of the Americas and uh, that'll also aid you in getting in touch with an Alexander Technique uh, instructor. So stay healthy and I'll see you next time.